FirstStepReading.com. Heather from FirstStepReading.com. For this video, the resources are found under July 22nd for your adult, but other than that, the date is not important. Okay, how many months are in a year? Twelve. Twelve, that's right. Can you say them with me? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the 12 months in a year. Today we're talking about July. July is in the summer. What do you know about the summer? It's our hottest season. After the summer comes the fall or the autumn where it starts to cool down, the leaves change colors. Then we have our coldest season, which is the winter. Then it starts to warm up in the spring. And then it's our hottest season again, which is the summer. So those are our one, two, three, four seasons. Okay, let's figure out what number comes after 21. Let me get the worksheet you can use. If you have this worksheet, you can take it out now. Let me get it going. And we're going to circle July under the month right July which comes after June and before August and then let's figure out the date one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, which is a 2 and a 2. Now let's figure out what color our 22 will be because we have a black, red, white pattern. A, B, C. So let's figure this out. Black, red, white. Black, red, white. Black, red, white. Black, red, white, black, red, white, black, red, white, black, red, white, black. Our 22 should be black. So on my paper, I circle 22, July 22nd is how I say that, July 22nd. Our letter of today is I. What sound does a short vowel I make? I, 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 like iguana, or I, 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 like igloo, or I, 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 like in the word ig, right? And our long vowel I says its name, and its name is I like ice cream. Okay, now you can take out this worksheet for the days of the week. We're going to figure out the days of the week. Okay, it looks like this. We're going to sing the seven days of the week song, so you can sing it now with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is wah, wah, Wednesday. 
So on my paper, I circle Wednesday. If today is Wednesday, what day was it yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Thursday. You have to look back on Wednesday to figure it out. Because today is Wednesday, so yesterday is Tuesday, and tomorrow is Thursday. And we said the weather is summer. I'm sorry, the season is summer. And today is hot and sunny where I live. There might be different weather where you live. Maybe you're watching this in the winter and it's cold, freezing cold and snowy. Or maybe it's not freezing, but it's pretty cold. Then you would say it's cool. Or maybe it's hot, but not swimming weather. Then I wouldn't say hot anymore. I would say it's warm. Maybe it's rainy. Maybe it's windy. Maybe it's cloudy. So you pick one of the things to describe the temperature. Is it hot swimming weather? Not swimming weather, but pretty hot, then it's warm. If it's pretty cold, but not freezing, it's cool. And if it's freezing, it's cold. Then you describe what describes the weather the best? Sunny, rainy, windy, cloudy, or snowy? And you can print your weather graphing and you color in a square, one above something that describes the weather and one above the temperature, okay? That's how you do your weather report. And that's the weather, this is the season. So it could be a different season that you're watching this. Maybe it's not summer. Maybe it's fall or winter or spring. So you figure out your season and then you can figure out your weather. Now we're going to move on to math. So for math, get out. you might have your twos. And your fives, you can take those out now. Anything I show you that's a worksheet is for free at firststepreading.com under free worksheets. These are under math. These are under uh, daily sentences, right? It's all free. It's a worksheet, okay? So if you have those, you read the numbers in black. If you don't have those, you can read them with me now. The twos are in dark blue and the fives are in black. So let's start with the twos. Ready, Haley? You're going to say it with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Good job. Now we're going to say our fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Now we're going to say our tens two times. Ready? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. One more time. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Good job. Please practice these or you will forget them. Get out all our worksheets so you can see. So we're going to, so we have our twos, our fives, and we have the same thing for the tens. Please practice these often or you will forget them. Now we're going to move on in math, and we're talking about patterns. So on Monday, we talked about AB patterns. Yesterday, we talked about ABB patterns, and today we're going to introduce ABC patterns. Those are the names of the patterns. 
So for AB and ABB, you only need two different things to make your pattern. But for ABC, you now need three different things to make your pattern. So let's first go over AB, then ABB, and then we'll talk about ABC. So in AB, my A is my circle, my B is my triangle. So I have AB, then it's AB, so it's going to repeat again. A, B, A, B. You see that? Circle, triangle, circle, triangle. A, B, A, B. Now let's go over A, B, B. That means I'm going to have two Bs before I start over again. So I have my A is my circle, B is my triangle. A, B, B, A, then it would be B, B again, right? A, B, B, A, triangle, triangle again. Okay, so that's A, B, B. Now, A, B, C. So for A, B, C, I need three things. I need a circle, a triangle, and here's my green rectangle. So I have circle, triangle, rectangle, then it'd be circle, triangle, rectangle again, A, B, C. Okay, now I'm going to go over it with my, go over all the patterns down here. Here I have my A as my green rectangle and my B as my white rectangle. So let's first do A, B. A, B. A, B. A, B. Green, white, green, white. That's A, B. Now A, B, B, I have to do my B twice before I repeat. A, B, B, A, B, B. You get it? Green, white, white. Green, white, white. That's A, B, B. Now again, for A, B, C, I need three things. So now I have a green rectangle, a white rectangle, and a yellow rectangle. Because I need three different things. So it goes A, B, C. Green, white, Yellow, green, white, then it'd be yellow again. Green, white, yellow, green, white, yellow. That's A, B, C. These are the three patterns we're going to talk about. So this week we're doing each pattern separately. So you have a worksheet on A, B patterns. You have a worksheet on a, B, B patterns, and you have a worksheet on A, B, C patterns, okay? So I want these ones, you circle what comes next. So big circle, small circle, big circle, small circle, big circle, big heart, small heart, big heart, small heart, big heart, small heart, small star, big star, small star, big star, small star. This whole page is A, B. This whole page is A, B, B. You circle what comes next. This whole page is A, B, C. You circle what comes next. Okay? These ones, also this says A, B, C. They want you to, to draw what comes next. Okay? Do each, try to do a worksheet on A, B, a, B, B, and A, B, C this week. I want you to try those individually. Next week we're going to work on trying to figure out what pattern is which and naming them. Okay, so this week we're just doing them individually and next week we're going to try to identify them. Okay. So work on A, B, A, B, B, and A, B, C. The worksheets. Also, I want you to make your own pattern. That could mean 
You draw your own pattern. I want you to make an AB pattern. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle. I don't know right now, I'm making a video. And then I want you to make an ABB pattern. You get to choose what you want it to be. It could be triangle, circle, circle, A, B, B. Then I want you to make your own A, B, C pattern. Now I need three things, triangle, circle, rectangle, triangle, circle, rectangle. That'd be an A, B, C pattern. So you can draw it like I just showed you. You can do it with Play-Doh. You need two cookie cutters for these ones. You need three cookie cutters for that one. You can also do it. You can do it with your 10 frame. You can put different objects. Just make sure you have enough to repeat. Three, two different things. You need three different things. You can do it in your 10 frames. You can do it with these if you have these colored circles, you need two of them for AB, and you need all three colors for ABC. Here's, I did an example. Blue, red, blue, red, that'd be AB. ABB, blue, red, red, blue. And if I did ABC, I'd have blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. So you can do it in stickers, you can do it with pom-poms or counters in your 10 frame, you can color it. But I want you to try to make your own AB, ABB, and ABC pattern this week, as well as your worksheet. So that's your math. Okay? Yeah. Now we're moving on to science. For science, we're talking about bees. Let's start with the body of a bee. Okay. A bee's body has three parts. It has its head, its thorax, which is the middle, and its abdomen, which is the bottom. Head, thorax, abdomen. Then it has wings, a stinger, and antenna. So there's a worksheet to cut and paste the names and put them in the right spot. Okay? So work on the parts of a bee. And then we have a worksheet on how helpful bees are. They give us seeds, they give us candles, they give us honey. Um, and I'll talk about how. So there's a word called pollination. Bees pollinate flowers, and I'm going to show you how they do it. And my yellow. So this is my bee. Inside a flower, there's these pistils, they're called, that contain, if they drink, the bee drinks it, they get nectar. But all around the middle of the flower, there is pollen all over here. So when the bee goes to drink the nectar, because it's like a sugary water drink, it gets pollen on its tummy. Then when it goes to this flower to drink the nectar, it spreads the pollen to that flower. And it spreads that pollen on its tummy as well, and it brings it to all the flowers when it's trying to get the nectar. That process of taking pollen from other flowers and spreading it to other flowers is called pollination. And the reason why it's important is because that's how flowers make seeds. They need the bees to spread the pollen from other plants in order to make seeds. And we need seeds to grow more flowers and more plants, right? So that is why bees are so, so important. They help us get seeds. Another way bees are important is they live in beehives. 
something interesting about their beehive is they make these little hexagon shapes. Their beehive is made out of these little hexagon wax shapes. And they store their honey here and they're made out of wax. And both of those things we use. We eat the honey and we use the wax for candles, for lotions, for lip gloss, for all sorts of things we need their wax. So they produce things that we need and they help, they help with pollination. They're our main source of pollinating. So those are ways bees are important. So you can do this worksheet. You cut it out and you just paste the three ways bees are important. And by the end of the week, you draw a picture and you write your sentence. I learned something you learned about bees or patterns. And make sure when you write a sentence, you sound out your words. And the best way to sound it out is to stretch out the word when you're sounding it out so you can hear all the sounds. So the word pollination is very hard and you're probably not going to get it spelled right, but you can try your hardest by sounding it out. P, 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 A, A, O, U, L, I, 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 N, 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 A, oh, long A, SHUN. You might spell that S-H-O-N and that is fine. I just want you to sound it out that I stretched out all the sounds, but when I write it, I write it as one word because pollination is one word. Okay? So please try to sound out your words, put spaces between each word, and end it with a period. End your sentence with a period. Okay? I can't read your sentence, and nobody else can read your sentence if you don't put spaces between your words. Okay? Thank you for that. That's the I learned sentence. I learned about space pollination, period. And I draw my picture. So that is our science. Now we're moving on to language arts. We're going to start with our vowel song. You can find this song under the videos under vowel song and our consonant vowel vowel song, which you find under long vowel I. You will find both all the different um, consonant vowel vowel or um, vowel consonant vowel songs. Okay? You can watch the videos to practice and they'll help you sound out the words in the videos as well. Let's start with our A. A is a vowel, a vowel, a vowel. A is a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. E is a vowel, a vowel, a vowel. E is a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. I is a vowel, a vowel, a vowel. I is a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. O is a vowel, a vowel, a vowel. O is a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. U is a vowel, a vowel, a vowel. U is a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. Those are the vowels, the vowels, the vowels. Those are the vowels, A-E-I-O-U. So those five words are our vowels. I'm sorry, those five letters are our vowels. Any other letter is called a consonant. So in long vowel words, the first vowel says its name and the second vowel says nothing. So let's sing that song. Consonant, vowel, vowel. Consonant, vowel, vowel. The first vowel says its name. The second vowel says nothing. Consonant, vowel, vowel. Consonant, vowel, vowel. The first vowel says its name.
his name. The second vowel says nothing. So the first vowel is going to say I, and the second vowel is going to say nothing. And that's the song. Sometimes you'll see consonant vowel, vowel. Sometimes you'll see vowel, consonant vowel. The first vowel will say its name. And sometimes you'll see vowel, vowel, consonant. But anyway, you see that the first vowel says its name. The second vowel says nothing. Let's move on to our sentences. One of our patterns. There we go. Boy, everything's sticking to each other. Let me move this. Okay. To start, I'm going to underline my sight words. These are your sight words. These are all the sight words for book one. These are the sight words for book two. You have to practice those often or you will forget them. Make flashcards, watch the videos, read the stories, practice your sight words. Okay, and a of. Those are my sight words. Now I'm going to circle the rest of them because these ones I have to sound out. And I also see I have an SL word, so I'll circle my SL because I have to blend those before I blend the rest. That's called a consonant blend. And I have an ice in here where my C makes an S sound. And I also have guy where my Y makes an I sound. Okay? Now I'm ready to try to sound them out. I see my sentence ends in a period, so I'm just going to read it normally. D, I, S, dice, right? My first vowel says its name. My second vowel said nothing. D, I, S, dice, and G, I, guy, E, T, eat, A, fool, ice, slice, of, I, pie. Now I'm going to read it again for understanding. Dice and guy eat a slice of pie. Read it as many times as you need for understanding because that is the point of reading. You need to understand what you're reading. Okay, so that is our learning for today. So please practice this sentence. Let me get the storybook. Do your long vowel I stories. Okay, long vowel I, um, do your sight words, uh, patterns, do your pattern worksheets, make your own patterns by drawing them using Play-Doh, using stickers, any way you can, A, B, A, B, B, and A, B, C patterns, all the patterns, okay? We're going to be doing those this week. Please try to get through the worksheets and drawing your own patterns and the B worksheets. Okay, so that's our learning for today, and I will see you tomorrow, and have a great day. Bye. Hi, this is Heather from FirstStepReading.com. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube at First Step Reading. Like us on Facebook at First Step Reading, and follow us on Instagram at www.firststepreading.com. Thank you for watching our videos. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our channel. Thank you and have a great day.